Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Figures. This is a new episode of Tree House. Two weeks ago we were robbed, but now we have arrived and we see that the roof is in place, at least from this side, and this is already pleasing. At the end of last week we put a camera trap and hope it wasn't stolen by any animals or someone else. Soon we'll get out the memory card from it and see what happened here during our absence. Guys, we decided to spend some more money in bought Andaline because we still need to complete the roof in our sauna and in our house, which was stolen. Today we brought a lot of building material because this week we are planning to finally finish our sauna. The most important thing we took were the sauna hats because at the end of the video we plan to take a steam bath. By the way, Sergei came up with the idea to make a pool downstairs and then make a special pipe from the sauna through which it will be possible to descend from the sauna directly into the water. Just I don't know if it will be possible to do this because it's almost impossible to dig here given how many roots and trees are below. By the way, whoever hasn't seen our house then it begins with such large beautiful steps. Recently we furnished our house, installed electricity, these are the lamps we have that you can hide. We did everything from natural materials, from woods, in general everything that was around was used. We also have a heater in the house, but on the weekend we pick it up so that it doesn't get stolen like our roof two weeks ago. We also made a drainage system, made a sewer system and installed a sink. We did this all at the end of the last week. Here's our sauna and today's task is to sheathe all this, insulate it, install a stove and make a roof. As you can see we'll have a lean-to roof and the andouline that we brought will be tilted in that direction. And if the sheets remain then we'll sheath up the place where they robbed us, that part of the roof of our house. It started draining so we need to quickly make the roof. There you go. Sergei, come here. What happened? Come down. What's there? Come check it out. I'm watching the video from the camera trap. Look what's in here. So here you are living. Yes, it's me. Yeah, you're dancing. Now look, the photographs. Do you see this dark spot? Yeah, I see. Now watch this dark spot move here. Yes. Now here it is. Whoa! And now it will be the coolest thing. Show me. Here's the video, look. What is it? Where is it going? It got into the feeder. This is a marten probably. Maybe it's a small fox? No, definitely not a fox. Show me how it climbs. Here it is. Play it. Hop, hop. And? And it jumped into the feeder. <laughs> see its tail. Whoa, amazing! Now our main task is to sheath up this wall, cover up all the cracks and openings that we have left and then sheath everything up with fiberglass and it will be possible to install the stove and heat it. Here guys, we already have walls between our attic and the sauna. Sergei is finishing fastening the boards. Yes, I'm already finishing. It's so cozy here. I was initially afraid to be in this room. We are now at the height of the third floor. Although it doesn't feel at all that we are at any height. By the way, in this part we'll have our stove and here near the tree in this corner we are planning to put our shelves. There will be two or three shelves here but I think two is enough. So now we've got a door in our sauna. Check out the door handle. Listen to the sound of the door. As in fairy tales. But the door is really good, just cool. Well, almost everything has been done here. Now we'll hang up the membrane. The membrane is like a vapor barrier, only it lets out moisture. Then we'll insulate. We're finally going to take a steam bath here today. I can already imagine what the temperature will be here. This time I took a normal thermometer, which shows temperatures up to 150 degrees. So today we'll find out the true temperature of the sound on the tree. So the dish that I will cook today is of Caucasian origin. This dish is called shulo. This is a soup made with lamb, eggplant, tomatoes and other vegetables. I also took bell pepper for this because I just love pepper. So now I'm frying the meat with salt, pepper and bay leaves. A little later I'll add onions and carrots there and then you'll see for yourself. While our meat is cooking, we'll chop potatoes, eggplants and tomatoes. As our soup boils, we add eggplants and tomatoes. I added more pepper because I like pepper. Now at the end, we add herbs and garlic. 
Bon appetit. Well, you're really a cool cook. Of course. Guys, I have never tasted such a dish like all the others that Vic has prepared. It reminds me a bit of pickle. I don't know why. You can feel a taste of salted cucumbers. It's actually because of the eggplant. Yes, from eggplant. Also, I'm trying lamb for the first time. I thought that the meat would be completely different, but it's not very different from the usual meat. I thought there would be a specific taste. The most important thing that it's turned out very tasty and original. I haven't tasted this before. Well, I secured the sauna so that nothing would catch fire and she did it with galvanized steel. For the pipe I also made a special exit because the pipe will be hot. Now we can start insulating the walls with glass wool and foil. This is our insulation. The discs consist of mineral wool and foil. See, as soon as I open it, the glass wool starts to puff up. In combination, these two components, foil and mineral wool, create just a thermos here. This is all calculated. We don't even need to sheet the clapboard because that would be just for decoration. And this is the main insulation. And here in the attic we'll need to put sunbeds, sheet up everything beautifully, equip it and there will be a restroom. It will be like I went out of the sauna, lay down, took a mug of tea or cola with ice and enjoy. Sergey has another idea. He proposes to sheet up this entire pot to the very bottom and make several floors on which to place a bathtub, toilet or something else. Or just make some open places like terraces on which we can put sunbeds or just chairs so that after coming out of the sauna we could sit down and relax. Soon it will be possible to heat up the stove and go to take steam bath. So I'm preparing firewood in advance so that I can take it upstairs to the sauna and not worry that it will not be enough. We were able to ensure that the sauna had such a wonderful, relaxing environment and atmosphere. Now it remains to achieve a high normal temperature. However, we haven't sheeted it with clapboard yet, because for now we are just testing it. And if the house can withstand this weight, although now nothing is even wobbling, then in the future it will be possible to add clapboard, but it will be later. <laughs> I'm coming there too. How's it? 65 degrees already. The camera fucked up. How much is on the thermometer? 70, I wanted 80 and it's already 70 and that too in just 5 minutes. You know what we haven't thought about? That the foil is heating up. Of course it can be injured but we still need to sheet it up. Yes, we need to do it. It needs to be done in the near future. As we understood there is a fairly stable structure here so we can make it heavier with a clapboard. But it's really hot here. This despite the fact that we recently heated it up. How long has it been? There are only a couple of logs burned out. I put few firewood only and it's already so hot. The main thing is that the temperature raised rapidly. Although so far it has topped at 70, it's cool. My face is already wet. I can feel the sweat on my face. Let's go outside. Wow, fresh air. Yes, imagine if there were some line places here now. Yes, yes, I want sunbeds and refreshments here. <laughs> Not one of our ficus land could do without a sauna, but a sauna on a tree is just a bomb. You just take a steam bath and then walk in the woods. This is just so amazing. What to build next? What is missing in our complex? Write whatever you think in the comments below. And be sure to support this video with your likes. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so as not to miss the new videos. It was ficus and interesting with you. Until next time. Blah, blah.